Uh, so I just, I fell in love with it. You know, I was, I was all in, I had all the um, LJN figures and I would sit there and the commentary always really resonated with me when I, as many kids do, but when I would sit there and play, I would be commentating the matches, you know, the whole time. And uh, so just the commentary always stuck with me. And as a kid, you know, I, I loved I got to say, I love Vince on Saturday night's main event. Him and Jesse were great because it was just like such frenetic energy. You know, Vince just yeah. the one, two, he got him. No, he didn't either. And, you know, champion Hogan is fired up like never before, Jesse. And then Jesse, you know, ah, how do you cheer for this guy, McMahon? You know, I mean, it was just like they, they had the struggle going in the booth and the struggle in the ring. But growing up, um, I would have to say, though, that you know, my favorite for sure was uh, as a commentator was Gorilla Monsoon. I love Gorilla. And that's awesome because Gorilla, he, he's so interesting because he's so over the top and he's such a larger than life personality. But as a kid and probably even as an adult at the time, it's just he had this likable charm. You know, he hated the bad guys. He loved the good guys. He hated Heenan. I'm guessing Heenan was probably your least favorite at the time because he was always against Hulkamania. Yeah, but I still love, you know, but even looking back, I, he was, but I still, I still loved Bobby as a character. And I mean, that guy, when he would get, you know, he's the poor guy, he'd get chased out of the ring by Matilda, you know, the <laughs> British Bulldogs yeah. Bulldog, and he'd take these crazy flip bumps over the ropes. I mean, he, he, he gave it his all, man. You know, if he, oh, after, after like the cage match with Bundy, WrestleMania two, then, you know, Heenan's just getting tossed into the bars and just completely throwing his entire body into it. Um, and so he, he played, he played such an important role. I mean, there's oh, yeah. hard to have God without the devil. Right. So you, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, Heenan's antics made Hogan that much more of a hero. You had to, yeah. you had to have that dichotomy and the Heenan family, you know, was a believable force going after him. And that's when I really, really started because at that time you know post wrestlemania like obviously piper was still a major heel and but it kind of spun off into the feud with mr t more for a while and didn't really challenge hogan at that point and then by the time wrestlemania 3 rolled around roddy had turned face so when i first really started watching you know the, the heenan family was was the major threat 